Wilbur L. Ross, Jr. is an American investor known for restructuring failed companies and industries such as steel, coal, telecommunications, foreign investment and textiles. He specializes in leveraged buyouts and distressed businesses. As of August 2014, Forbes magazine lists Ross as one of the world's billionaires with a net worth of $2.9 billion. Early life, Ross was born in Weehawken, New Jersey and grew up well off in suburban New Jersey. His father was a lawyer and his mother a school teacher. He serves on the board of advisors of Yale School of Management. His second wife was former New York Lieutenant Governor Betsy McCorfe Ross, whom he divorced in 2000. He drove two hours a day from New Jersey to attend the elite Catholic college preparatory Xavier High School in Manhattan. He ran track and was captain of the rifle team. He earned a B.A. from Yale College, which was also his father's alma mater. At Yale, Ross edited one of the literary magazines and worked at the radio station. Initially, he wanted to be a writer, but after his experience in a fiction class requiring 500 words daily, he concluded that he had run out of material. His faculty advisor at Yale helped him get his first summer job on Wall Street. He earned his MBA at Harvard Business School. Art Collection, Ross a Euro unregistered trademark entire art collection is conservatively valued at $150 million and includes pieces ranging from Western surrealists to contemporary Eastern sculptures. Ross owns 25 Magritte's including some of the artist's most valuable paintings such as the Pilgrim. Rothschild Investments, starting in the mid-70s, Ross built his reputation as a bankruptcy advisor. Ross saw himself as cleaning up the messy results of Michael Milken's junk bond financings, but by 1997 he wanted to do more than just cajole others into doing it his way. For three years he ran a private equity fund within Rothschild. But Ross couldn't invest in deals on which the firm was advising, shutting him out of one in three bankruptcies. W. L. Ross and Company In 2000, Ross bought out his equity fund and opened W. L. Ross and Company in New York with $440 million in investor money and a staff that included four top managers who, along with Ross, make up the firm's investment committee, David H. Stupper, who runs trading. David L. Wax, a longtime workout specialist. Stephen J. Toy, an Asia expert. And Pamela K. Wilson, a J.P. Morgan and Company veteran. Companies in this group include American Home Mortgage Servicing, which seems to be attempting to return to profitability by modifying the loans of delinquent homeowners. The company recently added servicing of 185,000 loans from Citibank. W. L. Ross & Company was acquired by Amdscap in 2006. International Steel Group, Wilbur Ross at first had support of the local steelworkers union, negotiating a deal with them to save Pennsylvania's steel industry. Ross sold the Richfield, Ohio-based International Steel Group to Mittel Steel Company for $4.5 billion April 2005. As of ten months later, Ross had not sold any of his Mittel shares. International Textile Group Ross combined Burlington Industries and Cone Mills in 2004 to form International Textile Group. ITG operates five businesses, all of which operate under separate brand names, Cone Denim, Burlington Apparel Fabrics, Home Furnishings, Kalal Finishing and Nanotex. The company entered into a five-year, $150 million credit facility led by Bank of America. Other lenders in the bank group included GE Capital and CIT Group. Corporate offices are located in Greensboro in the previous Cone Mills headquarters building and in an adjacent office complex. International Automotive Components Group. Equals Lear Equals, Wilbur L. Ross, chairman of International Automotive Components Group, announced on October 16, 2006 the completion of the previously announced acquisition of Lear Corporation's European Interiors Systems Division on a debt-free basis in exchange for 34% of the stock in IAC. The transaction will expand IAC's presence in Europe to 20 facilities in nine countries with approximately $1.2 billion in annual revenues. 
In early 2007, Lear completed the transfer of substantially all of its former North American Interior Systems Division to International Automotive Components Group North America. The deal involved 26 manufacturing plants and two Chinese joint ventures. Lear also contributed $27 million in cash for a 25% interest in IAC North America and warrants for an additional 7%. Equals Collins and Aikman Europe equals, on November 28, 2005 the joint venture by Ross, Franklin Mutual Advisors, and Lear Corporation, announced an agreement to acquire from Collins and Aikman Europe its $600 million operations in Austria, Belgium, Czech Republic, Germany. Netherlands, Slovakia, Spain, Sweden, and the United Kingdom serving Ford, General Motors, Daimler Chrysler, Porsche, Saab, Volkswagen, Volvo and other original equipment manufacturers. The exchange is subject to approval of the local insolvency authority and the Austrian court. Wilbur L. Ross, chairman of IAC said, We are delighted to make IAC's first acquisition within a month of announcing the joint venture company. We also are appreciative that the automobile industry has decided to support our efforts. This is the start of a major global factor in the automotive interior plastics industry. The joint venture has also bought the subsidiary of C&A in Brazil. Equal Safety Components International equals, on December 2, 2005, Zapata Corporation. Chairman, A.V. Glazer announced the sale of 4,162,394 shares, 77.3%, of Safety Components International to Ross for $51.2 million. Safety Components, an independent manufacturer of airbag fabrics and cushions, is headquartered in Greenville, South Carolina, USA and is plants in North America, Europe, China and South Africa. Equals Oxford Automotive equals Ross owns 25% of Oxford Automotive, a French company, which is in talks to be taken over by Wagon. International Coal Group, Ross founded the International Coal Group, which has now gone public. His relationship with the UMWA has not been friendly. They have bitterly protested the bankruptcy regulations that had allowed him to set up the International Coal Group free of labor unions, health care and pensions. Equals Sago Mine Disaster equals, following the Sago Mine Disaster, the New York Post's Roddy Boyd reported that Ross had been intimately involved with a company that owned the West Virginia mine where 12 miners perished to Euro, and he knew all about our safety problems, former executives charged. The article also reported that the mine had 12 roof collapses in 2005, and that the U.S. Department of Labor data showed 208 citations for safety violations in that same period, including 21 times for buildup of toxic gases. Despite these figures, Ross refused to shut down the mine. The Department of Labor and the state of West Virginia, as well as Congress are currently investigating the disaster. Political activities Ross served under U.S. President Bill Clinton on the board of the U.S. Russia Investment Fund, and later, under New York City Mar Rudy Giuliani as the mayor's privatization advisor. In January 1998 he put $2.25 million in seed money into McCorfey Ross's campaign. On March 22, 2013, Ross hosted a 2014 election fundraiser for U.S. Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell at his Palm Beach, Florida estate. Organizational Memberships Ross is a member and past director of the Turnaround Management Association and the American Bankruptcy Institute and a member of the Committee on Capital Markets Regulation. As of January 2012, Ross was the leader of the secret Wall Street fraternity, Kappa Beta Phi. References External links, Bennett, Jeff. Wilbur Ross says his auto parts acquisition spree has far to go. Bloomberg. Gross. Daniel. The Bottom Feeder King. New York Magazine. Stein, Nicholas. Wilbur Ross is a man of steel. And textiles and optical networking and anything else in deep, deep trouble. CNN. Fortune. Polak, Andrew. The Man Behind the Mining Murders. Monthly Review Website. Gross, Daniel. Is Wilbur Ross the next Andrew Carnegie? Slate. 
Morning Edition article Wilbur Ross, finding his calling September 15, 2008, profile at the Yale School of Management.